I jokingly refer to myself as the senior executive grave digger. Hutch Hutchinson is an Alachua County commissioner by day, but his passion isn't politics, it's grave digging. I got into it almost completely for mercenary reasons. We could be purchasing all the conservation land we need in the state of Florida or the nation, just funding it one burial at a time. Hutch is at the forefront of a movement with the goal of turning death into eternal life, at least for environmentally sensitive lands. Prairie Creek Conservation Cemetery, a 78-acre plot near Gainesville, uses the money it collects for burials to buy land and preserve it forever. You actually have a physical space in a beautiful place that is permanent. Freddie Johnson is director of Prairie Creek, which is one of only a handful of so-called conservation cemeteries in the country. To keep land pristine, they only allow green burials, meaning no concrete headstones, no metal caskets, and no embalming fluid. It's basically formaldehyde, and it is a, a toxin. Families help prepare the bodies for burial using handmade shrouds or biodegradable caskets. Some funeral homes will store or even deliver the body, but the ceremonies lack the elaborate and often expensive trappings of a modern funeral. If you look at the steel alone, it's every year in the United States, it's enough to build probably three quarters of a Golden Gate Bridge, and the cement is enough to pave a two-lane highway from Tallahassee to Miami. The conventional burial, you know, it's the plastic grass and the machinery and the big casket and the plastic flowers. Eleanor Blair's first visit to Prairie Creek came after the death of a young friend. She passed away. It was as sad as any other funeral, she says, but also incredibly powerful. Just beautiful, the way everybody participated, the way the children ran around, the way we all pitched in and helped fill the grave in. Sort of the visceral reality of the hole in the ground. And oh, I can't even talk about it without getting... <sighs> she became a volunteer grave digger, chose this spot for her mother. She's over here. And eventually herself. Someday even Archie will be planted here since Prairie Creek allows pets. The saddest of all are the pet funerals. I mean, I have seen just I've seen people completely break down and not be able to talk or move or anything like that over pet burials. Hutch says the money raised by the six-year-old cemetery has already allowed them to buy 15 additional acres of land. At $2,000 a burial and about 100 burials per acre, compared to about 1,000 at a traditional graveyard, he says their conservation goals are well within reach. But what began for him as a purely financial calculation has become a deeply personal story. He was 32 and he was 38. Both his boys are buried here. He was murdered in Nicaragua doing, uh, he was a master's student from Cornell doing fisheries research. And he was a, a banker with a couple young kids. I had no idea that I would be burying my kids out here. And someday you too will, will reside out here. I I'm guess. sure of it and dozens and dozens of my friends Ann Schindler, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25.